Hello, hello. So today we are going to be using a little bit of Palo Santo just to switch things up. I want to go ahead and thank everybody who's been so supportive of the collectives. Um, it's been it's been great. <laughs> I've noticed how you guys have enjoyed it, and that makes me happy. So let's go ahead and start with today. Today is Wednesday, so it's the day of communication. It, it represents uh, anything that has to do with listening, um, travel as well. So let's see. Um, hold on. Oh, before I forget, it also has to do with self-expression, okay? So that's also important. Now today we're going to be using... Um, Ciro Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams. It just feels appropriate for today. I think because all the cards have like the astrological symbol. I don't know why that feels appropriate for Wednesday. But um, I wasn't ready. <laughs> but um, just know that the first, about the first hour, because these are pretty extensive, will be done for free. And then you can watch, it usually goes to part two and three into the subscribers area. The subscribers hub, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's collective. Let's see. What's coming up for today? The day of communication. What's the collective for today? And by the way, in the when we cross over to part two and three, we're also going to be pulling oracle cards on it. All right, so we start with a queen of wands in reverse. Oh, all right. Already a feisty start. Oh. With the Hermit in reverse, damn. Okay, so Queen of Wands is Fire Energy, Aries Leo Sag, and the Hermit is Virgo Energy. It doesn't mean that these energies are have to be what's happening, but they could indicate somebody who has these placements in today's collective, okay? Um, so the Queen of Wands in reverse isn't, isn't very pleasant to be around. Well, let me put it this way. Queen of Wands is always going to be somebody who's very charming, very sexy, very attractive. Um, so that doesn't change even if she's in reverse. The problem with her being in reverse is that this is somebody who's very self-centered, very egotistical, um, vain, obviously selfish, <laughs> um, a little narcissistic, if I have to say. So let's clarify why she's showing up because Hermit in reverse indicates, again, that this is somebody who is not looking within. This is not somebody who examines themselves. This is not somebody who thinks on how to improve. They always blame their problems on external factors. It has nothing to do with them. They are never to blame, okay? Clarify Queen of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. So I feel like this is explaining somebody looking at this queen. Because Ten of Wands is like letting go of a burden. Um, and Seven of Cups, to me, it's like somebody that's no longer in La La Land. Like at one point, because this queen is really good at wrapping people around her, you know, little finger. I think at one point, whoever, whoever story we're looking at, um, with the Seven of Cups here, it's like she built this fantasy for them that they believed. And now the fantasy is, it's worn off. They realize the reality. Reality has set in. And with the Ten of Wands in reverse, they want to let go of this because dealing with this queen is has become a lot more trouble than it's worth okay let's see what else do we need to know about today's collective the wheel of fortune jupiter energy Ooh. the tower in reverse mars energy so Wheel upright indicates that the universe is stepping in. It could be that the reason somebody is realizing who this queen is is because the universe has shifted things. Now, tower in reverse, especially accompanied by the Wheel of Fortune, 
it means that the universe is preparing. This sounds brutal, but I'm just going to say the way I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, whoever it is that's seeing, because this could be same sex. This doesn't, it's not about gender, right? So I'm not going to say it's a man that's with this queen of wands. Whoever is the partner of this queen of wands, um, the universe is kind of giving them a way out before her karma hits. Um, now they can either choose to leave and if they don't, if they're not wise enough to part ways with her, then they will partake of whatever storm is heading her way. Let's see. Clarify Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups upright. <sighs> Three of Swords. See, this is why I'm saying that this is this feels like her karma is about to hit. Three of Swords indicates that this is somebody who has no problem hurting people. No problem breaking hearts. Because what she wants comes first, right? So it doesn't matter who gets in the way. Her happiness, her satisfaction takes precedence. So that's not ever going to sit right with the universe. Um, and people misinterpret, I think, the way the universe works. They expect instant repercussions. And that's not how it works. That that depends on somebody's natal chart, actually. For some people, it, it can be instant karma. But I think for this one, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it's been taking time. Almost like she has, because she's shown up as a queen of wands, she is a powerful energy, but she's misusing it. So it's almost like the, the universe is giving her the opportunity to change her ways. And so far, it's not happening it's taken a while, so the universe is like, okay, let's give her partner the, 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 this has been a karmic lesson for somebody. Their karma has, you know, they've paid off their karma. They can either leave or stay and partake of hers as well. Let's see. Six of Swords. Oh, yeah, I think that they're getting the message. This is uh, Aquarius Mars, I mean, Aquarius Mercury. I think they're getting the message, magician in reverse. Now, they may not be understanding the full message. Magician in reverse is somebody who, it's almost like they believe that they may not be good enough for her. Because, of course, Queen of Wands might say things like that. Um, so when they're, if you look at the way the swords are arranged in front of this person, it almost looks like protection. So it's almost like they're leaving because they want to protect their mind. They don't want to be told that they're not good enough for her, that they're not this, that they're not that. They're, they're, they just rather, I'm going to walk away. Clarify six of swords. Upright. Yeah. Ace of swords and queen of cups. Interestingly enough, I think that this queen of cups is also the queen of wands. And I think that the reason that they stayed, I don't know how long they stayed. It might feel like years, <sighs> unfortunately. The amount of time they did stay is because Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups was here. They felt that she was in love with them. They felt that they were special to her. And with time, they realized that she doesn't see them as somebody who can make things happen. She sees them as almost like a useful tool unfortunately. Um, and with time, that, that realization came through with the Ace of Swords. They got clarity on who they are to her. I don't think that... Like, I think that she would switch back and forth between the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. But this is showing up in the clarifiers, and this one is showing up in the main spread, which means that this one showed up predominantly. And then it clicked. Oh, this is who she really is. This is an act. I'm saying that because we've got Seven Swords. The Six and the Ace is Seven Swords, so it's Deception. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know? So because today is the day of communication, this person could have been receiving um, downloads. Ooh, Queen of Coins. Seven of Coins. This is interesting because it feels like sorry, I'm like trying to get the ash off the table. It feels like 
Six of Swords indicates one, this could change the whole trajectory of the story. It could indicate that the Queen of Wands is changing. This could be her moving forward into a Queen of Coins. Because the Seven of Coins indicates that um, she probably, if, if, we're going to clarify as we go, right? So it's, there's going to be, right now it's not very clear, so it's going to be two different storylines. One, this is the Queen of Coins, Queen of Wands in reverse, transforming into Queen of Coins upright. Because she feels like she doesn't know or she hasn't learned how to build. And she wants to be more committed. She wants to be more stable. She wants to be worth the investment. And right now she feels she's not. Two, if this is from the point of view of her partner, then they are moving towards a different queen. Because wherever they're at doesn't feel like it's worth the investment. Let's see. As we go, it'll clarify which storyline it is. Clarify Queen of Coins. Four of Cups. King of Swords. <coughs> Judgment. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hold up. Hey, guys, by the way, I just want to say a little something. Um, I know that me chewing gum sometimes annoys you guys, but I do these all day. I'm doing not only the collective, but private readings that I still, you know, like I stopped doing private readings, but I had so many booked that I'm still finishing them. And that means I'm doing readings all day. <laughs> so I kind of need that so that my mouth doesn't dry out. Even if I drink water, it dries out because I'm talking for hours. So cut me some slack. Okay, guys. So, all right. I do think it's another queen. Because we have a missed opportunity. It's some king of swords looking at... Well, okay. To be fair, it's going to still be two storylines, though. It's still not very clear which one it is. Because on one hand, this could be the queen of wands in reverse not being happy with the fact that she's creating some coldness in her partner and what she's bringing back could be once upon a time she was the queen of cups queen of pentacles so this could be her bringing this back or this could be her partner right now represented as the king of swords having a missed opportunity with the queen of coins and they're walking away from the queen of wands trying to bring back to life this connection so let's see Let us see. Okay, we got two, so let's start with this one. The Four of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cup, I mean, Four of Coins, okay. Um, Four of Cups in reverse it already showed up right indicating that she was <sighs> okay so let's let's go with the st second storyline because that's what keeps feeling more appropriate um i didn't really want to go with somebody walking away from one queen going to another but it's what resonates the strongest so four of cups in reverse they don't want this to be a missed opportunity they haven't forgotten whoever this queen of coins is i'm not really sure why they would be with the queen of wands then but Let's see. Let's clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups. Five of Cups in reverse. Yep. With the Ace of Coins. Yeah. So they want... Whoever this Queen of Coins is, they want a new beginning with her. Um, now, they may not come in like right off the bat telling her all of these things because the six of swords has like you know like i said they have like a protective little pattern going on here with the swords which is their words they're protecting themselves with their words and then the four of pentacles is also somebody not very open i mean it's a capricorn sun for a <laughs> um although aquarius mercury is communicative they they're ruled by both Saturn and Uranus. So it's almost like they're inspired. They know what 
what to say, what not to say. Um, they're discreet. Let me put it that way. They don't just blurt out everything that's on their mind. So they do want another opportunity with her. But I don't think they're going to come right off the bat and say that. Um, they just, four of cups in reverse, five of cups in reverse. They don't want to feel like there's a missed opportunity. They don't want to be grieving this anymore. They want to start over. But they're going to be cautious, right? They're going to approach cautiously. Because none of these indicate speed. None of these indicate somebody running in and be like, oh my God, I'm in love. Oh wait, wait, I forgot to clarify the other one. I'm in love with you and blah. Yeah, it's not what's going to happen. Which would be very unrealistic for the Queen of Coins anyways. Hermit in reverse. Oh boy. Now, we have Virgo energy again. But it's in reverse. So, it could be that in a way, the person coming in to the Queen of Coins, so far it's shown up as a King of Swords, right? Could be more, but right now, King of Swords. Um, they may be blaming the Queen of Wands. Not that she didn't play a part because she is showing up in reverse, but Hermit in reverse is that they're not really, unfortunately, they're not really taking um, accountability for any part that they played in having the Queen of Coins as a missed opportunity. Let's see. Clarify the Hermit. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, they're, they're still, although they, they showed up as a King of Swords, when it comes to expressing themselves to the Queen of Coins, they're showing up as a Knight of Swords. A little immature. Almost like they have an objective, right? The objective is to have a new start with the Queen of Coins. So Knight of Swords is like, they're focused on that objective. So they're going to, you know, they don't want to look bad is my point. <laughs> Unfortunately, what this person doesn't realize, which tells me that they're not as mature, it could be that they're closer to Knight than a King because a King or an Emperor even will realize that it actually makes them look better to acknowledge, apologize, you know, um, be humble. That would make them look better with the Queen of Coins. Because she's a Queen of Coins, someone who's very practical. They're very, um, they're very wise. They're, they're not somebody, they're nobody's fool. So it would actually play in their favor for them to acknowledge their fault. But this person, again, showing up as a Knight of Swords, they're not very... They don't understand that concept yet. So with the Four of Wands, they may say, well, she wouldn't let me leave the relationship. And that's why I couldn't, you know, come to you, but I never let go. I don't want this to be a missed opportunity, yada, yada, yada. <sighs> hmm. Me no, no, me no, no. I don't think this person understands what a queen of coins would actually respect. What else do we need to know? Oh, tree of life. With the world, yeah. So I feel like whoever it is that's coming towards the uh, queen of coins, they don't really understand the major truths of life. They don't really understand the concepts, the core of what makes up integrity of what makes up somebody um that's that's mature that's powerful they're not very experienced they're not very wise the world card in reverse is like somebody who's who's a world who's represented by the world card upright is somebody who is successful they're well traveled well cultured they are experienced um so in reverse, it tells me this person may have been very, they have a very limited view of life, which of course would mean they don't understand how vulnerability, accountability would actually help them, would actually help their case. So let's look at the tree of life. Clarify tree of life. King of cups upright and ace of wands in reverse. With the eight of pentacles. Now, the good thing is that they are showing up as a King of Cups upright. So they are emotionally available. I just think that there's... 
with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This feels weird. This is, hold on, I'm trying to decipher this energy. With the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Tree of Life. Because the Tree of Life is like hidden knowledge. It's, you know, the pathway to divinity. The pathway to our own divinity. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I don't think this person... Okay, okay, so this is what I'm getting. This is somebody who's emotionally available. This is somebody who who does have emotions for the Queen of Coins, deep emotions, because it's a king. But they haven't even started their path towards enlightenment, towards, you know, towards wisdom. They're very focused on the 3D. They're very focused on working, their career. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like the reason this came up is because maybe the Queen of Coins has a lot going on connected to her spiritual path. And whether this person realizes it or not, that may be an obstruction. Not that she doesn't care for them, but somebody who's on a spiritual path is going to want a partner who can understand that, right? Who can even possibly match that. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know? Ten of Wands, Sagittarius, Saturn, Nine of Swords. Yeah, I knew that would come into play. And and now, <laughs> oh, it's like this person feels um, there's a lot of burden here. Sagittarius energy is very, you know, it's fiery, it's exciting, it's adventure energy. Saturn in Sagittarius might be that as soon as she expresses this, it might put a damper on their fun. <laughs> and now they're sitting here overthinking like, oh, wow. Because, again, if this is somebody who's thinking in a very 3D perspective, they're thinking, well, if I like you and you like me and we're both single, why would we not give it a go? Why would we not try to get to know each other, see if things will develop? But somebody who's looking at things from a higher perspective, because remember, they're not. They're showing up as the hermit in reverse, the tree of life without the ace of wands, without that spark. They, they're not going to understand why she would say, I need somebody who is at least initiated in their spiritual path. And this is creating a lot of mental burden and, and energetic burden to them. Let's see, clarify, ten of wands. Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Cups. Yeah, again, there's a lack of understanding here, uh, which is exactly the problem. Because if she does things that are important to her, like this may be somebody, um, if she shows up in Hermit energy, right? Well, she doesn't, but they showed up as Hermit in reverse and it's not compatible with her. So she's most likely Hermit upright or High Priestess. This could be somebody who uh, really values her spirituality. So maybe she... She does certain things, like maybe she has certain rituals for certain days, um, and they would not understand that. Maybe this is somebody who chooses not to eat meat and, you know, is is worried about the environment, things like that, things that she she's connected to the earth, she's connected to spirit. And they would, with the three of pentacles in reverse, they would not have any idea why those things are important to her. And in their mind, they're like, but but we care about each other. Why would that? So so be a vegetarian, but they don't understand the spiritual significance of it. They just see it like a diet choice. Not that she is a vegan, right, or a vegetarian. I'm just saying that that's an that's a example. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Ten of coins. Virgo, Mercury, with a Palace of Swords. Yeah, because the Palace of Swords is a very intellectual energy, right? It's like, it's like being, being in a place, whether physical or um, a state, 
it's a state of being so i feel like this is the the king of swords is sitting here thinking okay they're being very thoughtful they're they're trying to understand but again they're trying to intellectualize what she's saying to them so ten of coins to them they're like okay all i know is that we're two halves of one whole we come together and and we form stability what what's what's the problem but we already know what the problem is <laughs> clarify ten of coins oh that's a lot Nine of Swords in reverse. With the Seven of Wands upright, three the Empress. Ten of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Mm. I figured. I was like, I don't think she's just a Queen of Coins. So she's showing up. The first aspect of her that this person sees is the Queen of Coins, which actually tells me that now she's showing up as an Empress. So this tells me that what they focus on the most about her is how much she gives because the Queen of Coins is a giver. She is a nurturer. <clears throat> she's somebody who feeds, clothes, um, nurtures the people she loves. That's one of the things they love the most about her. So with Seven of Wands, they don't understand why she's kind of saying that's stability isn't everything I'm looking for. That does not compute for them. They're just like, I don't understand. Because this could be somebody wealthy, right? We don't know. But Ten of Pentacles is either they're trying to build a legacy with her or they already have a legacy and they're trying to share it with her. And as the Empress, they're like, but you're, you know, you're a perfect fit. We are a perfect fit. It's not, that's not what brings emotional fulfillment to her. Having a nice house, having good sex and a, a great husband and children, that's not what brings her emotional fulfillment, especially if she's showing up as a divine feminine. It means that she has a purpose. She has a purpose to carry out in her lifetime that this person does not understand because they're not on the same path. So with the Nine of Swords in reverse, they think that they're providing a solution. They're like, no, 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 no. See, I've thought about this and I realized all we need to do, you're committed, you're a committed person. I'm a commit, I can be committed to you. We can build together. What is the issue? <sighs> okay, let's see. Like I can feel this masculine frustration. Oh, Empress in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, see, now the frustration is crossing over to anger. With the Empress in reverse, um, they're starting to see her as, it, am I not, is, is she just being manipulative? Like, is she being, is it that I don't have enough money? Um, because again, they only have, they have a one-track mind. So think of it like this. <laughs> Because this person does have almost like a juvenile way of thinking, right? This is somebody who thinks people judge them on their car, which they do. You know, most people, most people do. So this would be somebody who is trying to impress her with what they drive, where they go on vacations, what kind of house they have. And and that's not, it's not that those aren't, aren't beautiful things, right? But... They're being very narrow-minded because they think that that's it. That's all that they have to, you know, most women would really like that, would really like a stable man, somebody who maybe has, you know, is building a legacy. So when that's not impressive to her, they're like, wow, so what, I need to be driving like a freaking Lamborghini for her to be impressed? So it's starting to turn into something that's not really great. <sighs> Let's clarify the Empress in reverse. The star card in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Yeah, so they're they're starting to shift their perspective. They're starting to think, oh, okay. Almost like they're judging her, like she's trying to tell them they're not enough when that's not what she's saying. With the star card in reverse, they saw her as something they really wanted. And now they're kind of like, mm, I don't know. I'm not that excited about you anymore because you're making me feel like shit. And what I liked about you was that you made me feel good. Chariot in reverse. They might not want this anymore. And and honestly, it's this sounds really cruel, but it might be in their best interest to not pursue an empress. Because they wouldn't know the first thing about being with an empress. They're clearly more of a knight 
than an emperor. And because today is the day of communication, I think that they're not really listening to what she's saying. They are interpreting things their way. Ace of coins. All they saw was the potential. Ooh, moon card in reverse. They see the potential in the physical reality. So let's say she's already, because queen of coins is somebody who, you know, would be a great mother, would be, um, <clears throat> if this is somebody who's into business, they would be, this would be a great support. But they're seeing her like a woman and a partner, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, right? But an empress is beyond, way beyond that. An empress is here to run an empire, my dear, <gasps> my loves. An empress isn't here. Imagine that. Ima imagine somebody with the potential of um, like Barack Obama or Michelle Obama and somebody looking at them and saying, oh, you know what? We'd be a great couple because I could see us totally having brunch and kids together. But they don't want the, the other part. They don't want the part that comes with changing the world, making an impact in history. They, they're not even thinking about that. That's what I mean. This is somebody like that. This is an empress. This is She's here to make an impact on earth, on humanity in some way. All they're seeing is like, we would, we would make great babies. We would, um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. That is just not her path. Let's clarify the ace of coins. The moon and card in reverse, they, they don't, if somebody has not had a spiritual awakening, they would never even understand what she's trying to do because it's like <clears throat> the tree of life is again about hidden occult knowledge, right? Which means you'd have to dig to understand it. You would have to do research. You would have to have a connection to divinity to even start to understand it. And they showed up, maybe they're willing because they showed up with the King of Cups with it, but the Moon card in reverse is, they're not somebody, Hermit in reverse, Moon card in reverse, they're not somebody who examines themselves. Clarify Ace of Coins. Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, like I said. There's somebody who's very focused on status. <clears throat> they like her because she would look good on their arm because she's an empress, right? They, she would make them look good. She would be committed to them. She would be a great support. They're, they're thinking about what she can do for them. <clears throat> so honestly, this would be a bad match. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because there's somebody who's looking for a traditional wife. And although the empress can do that, that's only one aspect of her. That's only, you know, one piece of her. There's three other queens that she has. So she wouldn't just be satisfied with being just a housewife, just a mother. She has, again, this is like taking Barack Obama or Michelle Obama and saying, that's, that's good wifey husband material, but without thinking of everything that they're doing with their life. So it's not about whether somebody's good enough or not, right? It's just about they are on different paths. But this person is starting to get upset because they wanted to build something with her, right? They see themselves as the ultimate catch. And for somebody who's looking at things from a very 3D perspective, they are. Especially if they show up with the Nine of Pentacles. There's somebody who's financially independent. They are offering her stability in the 3D world. But again, that's not her focus. So they don't even, they can't even begin to comprehend why she would not be open to that, open to exploring that. Full in reverse. So we start off with the three of coins. Let's look at that first. Full in reverse is, uh, she's not taking a leap of faith. In reverse, she's not building with them. See, this is where things get, communication is getting distorted, right? Because all they're seeing is that she doesn't want to build with them when the potential for them to be a great couple is there. <clears throat> Clarify three of coins. You're probably going to get angry. Hermit upright. With the five of coins in reverse. <sighs> 
So this may be somebody who they will, <laughs> the irony, they will go within, but in a different way. They're not going to go in to examine themselves. They're going to go within, like they're going to isolate themselves because they're focused on the rejection. <laughs> they're focused on how she has the audacity to tell them that they're not a good match when he clearly knows <clears throat> or she clearly knows that they're a good match because this could be same sex, right? <sighs> yep. Yeah. Ace of cups, another ace. This person's like, I could already, I already have feelings for her. Imagine if we had a relationship, like this would be amazing. Why is she being this way? Clarify Ace of cups. Upright. Five of Swords in reverse. Uh-oh. Ten of Cups in reverse. So now they're taking it personally. <clears throat> Five of Swords in reverse is... It's hitting their ego. Because on paper, this would be somebody that... You know, maybe it could be on The Bachelor. They're that... They're that, they're that type of person. Everybody would like to have a partner like this person. And I know that because they really thought that they were, they were, they were in, they were a shoo-in. This was a no contest. And now that she's, you know, talking about compatibility and how they're on different paths, they're taking that personally. All they see is she's saying no to me, which means that there must be somebody else. Maybe she's holding out for someone who's more wealthy. Does she, does she not find me attractive? Why doesn't she just fucking tell me the truth? She is telling them the truth. But because it's not what they want to hear, it's not what makes them happy. It's it's kind of getting to them. They're not listening. <laughs> so appropriate in the day of communication that they are not listening. They're hearing what they want to hear. Because here's the thing. People can only hear us to the level that they've understood themselves, Right? So if somebody has not had a spiritual awakening, they will not understand. It's like speaking Chinese to them or Mandarin. Sorry, I don't know why it's just said Chinese. That's not even the appropriate word for it. It's like speaking Mandarin to them. They wouldn't understand. <clears throat> what else? Faith in reverse and the four of wands. <clears throat> See, they really thought Aries Venus. I think before, if she had rejected them, they thought, oh, oh, it's because, okay, it's because she wants something more serious. It's because, you know, she wants something more traditional and she wants me to pursue her. And so they're pursuing and they're realizing, okay, she's everything but traditional. She's actually not traditional at all. I don't know why I'm over here thinking we're going to have a relationship. Clarify for faith. Clarify Hierophant. Six of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles upright. Yeah. So, hold on. <clears throat> Six of Wands in reverse. They really thought they'd come out triumphant. That they would have this great woman on their arm. Or feminine energy on their arm. They would be building a legacy. And now they're realizing she doesn't want commitment. She doesn't want traditional family. She doesn't want to build anything. I kind of feel bad for this masculine but at the same, or whoever it is that we're looking at. But at the same time, I mean, imagine this. It doesn't even have to be a spiritual path. Imagine that two people um, meet and they're really attracted to each other. They they spend time together on maybe some work project. But one person is a I don't know uh, what's what's the what's the word? I don't know the the company, but you know those like doctors that go to Africa and to South America and places that really need medical assistance, but there's not a lot of income. And then the other person wants to build a family and settle down and start working on their credit. It's not that either one is in the wrong. It's just that they want different things out of life, right? And that's what this person is failing to understand. Because they think everybody wants what they want. That's not how life works. The Empress has a purpose to fulfill. 
And all they see is she's turning me down. She's turning me down. Their, their egos kick in. Two of Cups with the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I also feel that, because remember the Empress is, is all four queens, right? So she has the Queen of Wands energy in her. So she's probably very attractive to this person as well. So they really thought <clears throat> Cancer Venus, they're about to have their hubby, their wifey. Um, they're very... At least initially, because this could be either they are not as passionate anymore or that they're coming in with a lot of lust. Let's see. Clarify. Two of cups. <clears throat> Nine of cups, three of swords. Now, they're not as passionate anymore. They're upset. Five of cups. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, something, something is imbalanced, though, because for it to be hit hitting their ego like that, it means that they already feel like they're not good enough. The reason that they look for a partner to enhance their image is because they don't feel like they're enough. So it's almost like whatever she's saying, although she's trying to be compassionate and kind, <clears throat> it's hurting their feelings. It's breaking their heart because it's like she's compounding the energy they already feel within themselves, that they're not enough. So with the Knight of Cups, they really thought this is this was everything. This is the, the perfect person for them to be in a connection with. This is the perfect. They would totally propose to this person in the future, you know. Three of Swords, she's breaking their heart. She's making them feel like they're not enough, which has nothing to do with what she's saying. But that's how they're choosing to interpret it because that's what they feel already. Let's see. Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Very narrow-minded energy. Page of Coins in reverse. <sighs> okay. So I've got to be clear. This person has showed up as pages so far. <clears throat> they haven't really showed up as king. Um, and with the Page of Swords, they're also showing up as Reverse, which just enhances it, makes it worse. Page of Swords, they're being very narrow-minded. They have a one-track mind, and this is somebody who projects, right? And what I mean by that is they assume that their values are everyone's values. They assume that their fears are everyone's fears. Um, let me Let me explain something about that. You can generally tell when people are projecting because they will accuse you of things that they feel. So for example, right now, this person is feeling like they're not enough. So what they're going to do is project that onto her. They're going to be like, oh, she must not feel good enough to be with me. Or she must not think I'm good enough to be with her because that's where it's coming down to. That's what's in their mind. So it's either going to be projected onto her or projected that that's how she thinks about them. <clears throat> So they'll accuse her of things that they are doing, like um, she just wants somebody that's better than me so that she can look better when that's what they're doing. Does that make sense? So they are going to assume that she has the same mentality they do <clears throat> when she doesn't. Clarify page of source. That's the whole issue to begin with. Five of cups upright. With the Ace of Wands in reverse. Right now, though, all they can see is that she doesn't want them. That's all they, that's, emotionally, that's all they're focusing on. This is a Scorpio Mars card. They're very much on victim mode. Sorry me, sorry me. Look at what life does to me. I found the perfect person. They don't want me. Like, again, Scorpio Mars. So it's almost like a romanticization of their pain. Like, why does life do me like this? It's very dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at this person. It's just the dramatic part I'm laughing at. The sun. Oof. So with the sun card, to me, this because of the picture, it's actually very indicative of this person's ego. In the sense that they really felt, because it's twice that they've shown up as like this muscly person holding up, you know, look like, 
look at me. I am so masculine. I am so strong like bull. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's what they come across like. And almost like they're, there's just somebody who would be like flexing their muscles in front of her and figuratively, not literally. And it's like they want her to tell them how manly they look, uh, how how small and dainty she feels. Next. Like, you know, it's like it's about their ego. It's not about actually wanting to protect her, wanting to care for her. Clarify the sun. Mm hmm. Yeah. Four of swords in reverse. Seven of wands. So they're getting really defensive. They're getting really defensive because they haven't actually four of swords in reverse they haven't actually healed their ego this is somebody who doesn't understand that acting out like that is just going to push her away from them it'll never attract her to them because what she's looking for is actually somebody who wouldn't react this way so the more that they react this way the more that they're kind of solidifying in her mind that they are not her match that they're not the one for her ironically it's like somebody throwing a tantrum and be like but why don't you want to be with me that, that type of energy now they may not say it they may not <clears throat> but their behavior is saying that like why would you reject me bitch <laughs> so, so it's kind of the equivalent of a guy trying to hit on a girl you know those the ladies know the facebook men right that try messaging you, hey, sexy, hey, hey. And after several attempts and no response, they'll be like, I didn't want you anyways, fat bitch. Something like that. <laughs> That's the equivalent of what's happening here. Let's see. <clears throat> Strength card upright. Now, this is not going to phase her at all. Yeah. Six of wands in reverse. She understands because she's an empress, right? So she understands what's happening. She's just going to be very regal about it. She's going to be very dignified about it. She's not trying to degrade them. She understands their ego has been hit. She's not trying to do that. But she knows that this is a them issue, not a her issue. So she's just going to stand firmly. Clarify strength card. King of Cups. Knight of Swords. It's almost like... Um, the fact that the King of Cups is showing up, it feels to me like she's going to try and appeal to their heart. So she may try and explain to them the different analogies I gave about somebody who wants to go heal people in different countries and, you know, things like that. I feel like she's going to try and reason with them. She understands their ego has been hurt and she's trying to be very soothing, calming, because remember, this is a, a woman taming a lion, right? Or a tiger in this one which is a perfect representation of someone's ego. So she's trying to soothe their ego by appealing to their heart and letting them know that it's not it's not them. It's not about them. She's just on a different path. So she is being communicative right now, trying to soothe their little wounded ego. Let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we've got five of swords upright. Aquarius Venus. With Libra Jupiter, four of swords in reverse. They're going to misinterpret that. Because again, it falls beneath the, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. They see this as, see, this is why she makes a great partner. So maybe, maybe she just, she's playing games with me. Because if she didn't care, she wouldn't be this nurturing, right? They're misinterpreting her actions again. She's being compassionate and kind because she doesn't want them to feel like there's anything wrong with them. Not because she wants to partner with them. But they're taking it like, oh, so she's playing mind games. She's fucking with me. Okay, so she rejected me. Maybe she wants me to try harder. <laughs> That's not. Oh, Lord. Clarify five of swords. Mm -mm. Yep. Ace of swords. Ten of pentacles. It's. 
they feel like they just understood some huge truth like oh oh i see okay 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 so this is a game so we're not done and i can have my ten of pentacles with her i just need to try harder i need to play the game no 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 there's no game being played oh boy this this person is a little clueless but again, it's on the day of communication, so they're not fully listening to her, unfortunately. She's trying to be diplomatic and healing, and all they, they see with that is, oh, she's being soothing with me. She cares about me, which she does. An empress cares about everybody. That doesn't mean that she wants to marry them. So I have to say, this may be somebody who has not received a lot of nurturing, a lot of love, because the fact that she's just being kind, they're like, oh, she's into me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's a little sad. It's a little sad that somebody's life has been that unkind, that a little bit of kindness is interpreted like she must want me. Three of cups with the world in reverse. So the spark has been relit. Re they feel like it's not over. We could still have us a little reunion here. Cancer Mercury, she could still be a part of my family. They feel very happy right now. Because if you notice, this is like Mardi Gras energy. The cups are fully uh, um, filled with liquid. So their cup is full. They're so happy because they feel like, oh, oh, I really thought we, okay, okay. So it's a game. I just misinterpreted it. My bad, my bad. I didn't know the rules. Um, but they're super excited because they're like, I still got a, I still got a shot. It's like, <laughs> it's like that dumb and dumber moment. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I'm using this example, but that's what comes to mind. <laughs> it's like that dumb and dumber moment where um, he's hitting on her and she's like, you know, He's asking her, what are the odds? What are the chances that she'll pay attention? You know, she'll give him a shot. And he's, she's like, well, I would say more like one in a million. And he's like, so you're saying there's a chance <laughs> when she's trying to let him down easy, right? And <laughs> so, I'm not saying this person is dumb. I'm just, that's the, the scene that came to mind. <laughs> Clarified three of cups. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to that, that. That I know that sounded terrible, but that's the scene that came to mind. They're like, so you're saying there's a chance? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Her, her loving nature. Oh, Seven of Cups. See, she's not playing a game. She's not creating an illusion. They're misinterpreting. It's, it's so appropriate that came up in the day of communication. They're misinterpreting her actions. Her being nurturing. Her being kind, compassionate, loving. Because it's a fellow human being, that's the way the Empress is with people. Because she sees them like we're all a part of a family, right? Well, they're like, ah, okay, so I get it. I'm sorry, I misinterpreted. We just, we just need to play the game. Mm -mm -mm. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, that was quick. Uh oh. Emperor. The Six of Wands in reverse. This is interesting. This is interesting because the Emperor came out upright. Almost like she's activating some sort of masculinity within them and they want to match her. Clarify the Emperor. Now, Queen of Swords. Okay. High Priestess in reverse. This is a want. This isn't who they are. But she's realizing where they're taking this. And so now she's going to Queen of Swords mode. She's kind of, she's trying to be very clear, but diplomatic, right? Libra energy is trying to set boundaries. <sighs> they're getting to the point where they're like, okay, I don't understand some things. Because I'm I'm not connected to my intuition. But in a way, it's like almost like they see this like a challenge. Like, but I could. I could be her match. I want to they want to get to a place where she doesn't have to set boundaries with them anymore. Where she doesn't tell them, okay, 
I was trying to be kind, but what I meant was you can totally find somebody that could match you. Like she's trying to explain, she's trying to be diplomatic. She's not trying to be hurtful because she's not in reverse, but she's trying to be very clear about, I'm not playing games. This is not, I'm not, you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. But again, they continue misinterpreting it. Well, in this way, honestly, this, this one, it's a little bit good, I think, in the sense that it might start off with the wrong motivations, but I think that they're about to start their spiritual path because they see this as a challenge. Now, I don't think that that's the right motivation, but honestly, a lot of us start a spiritual path with the wrong motivation. I just, I'm one of them. I started getting in touch with astrology and tarot because I was into somebody and I wanted to know more about them. I wanted to understand them. Other people I've met, same thing. And now here I am, you know, I'm not even with that person. So it could be that this is the the catalyst that puts them on their spiritual path. Because now their goal is, I want to be an emperor. I want to be the badass that she admires. I want to be on her level. Now they don't, they're not going to think of it in emperor terms, but they're trying to match her. In their mind, they're like, okay, okay, we don't have to be the brunch couple. That's okay. We can be the couple that goes to Africa and heals babies, whatever you want. I just want you to be with me. Let's see. Yeah, they're not giving up, Sagittarius Moon. <laughs> Ooh, Three of Wands. Yeah, she definitely activated some sort of... See, this is Aries energy. You see the, the glyph up here? Aries energy, right? And here they are. Aries Sun energy. Oh, we got booty. <laughs> Aries Sun energy. Sagittarius Moon energy. Both... Well, this is a warrior, right? He's not fully done with the battle. He just took off his helmet, but he's still in full regalia. He's still ready for another round. Aries' son, the reason that this person is naked is because it indicates no hidden agenda. Aries' son is very clear. Like, okay, I see my destination. I see my goal. Now they've got a whole <laughs> um, purpose. She's giving them purpose, whether she realizes it or not. Clarify, nine of wands. Judgment. And two, yep, two of wands. <laughs> I love this. I actually love this. So she's the empress upright to them again. They're realizing, okay, okay. So I misinterpreted. All right, okay. I get it now. Sort of. <laughs> Judgment. She has awoken in them the desire to pursue a spiritual path. They want to understand what, what's this gibberish she's talking about. What's she mean with spiritual path? What does she mean with awakening? What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's almost like they're, <laughs> this feels like somebody who would say something like if she's talking about chakras and, and the tree of life, he's like, that sounds like magic, like some wizard shit, but I'm into it. You know, like that. <laughs> they are curious. Now, two of wands is also Aries Mars energy. So there's a lot of fire. They're all fired up about, okay, let's, let's do this then. Let's get into magic. Am I going to be a wizard or, or are we going to blast trees apart? Like, <laughs> Again, it's kind of cute. I've got us. It's kind of cute. Empress energy. They're they're like, let's let's do this spiritual awakening together. I can do this. <laughs> You've got to admire their tenacity. I'll give them that. You've got to admire it. All right. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna end this part here because we're about to get to an hour, and once they go over an hour, it's really hard to upload. Yes, that's why I keep splitting the subscriber part into two different videos because it won't once it's past an hour it'll keep rejecting and rejecting the upload and i just i don't have time for it so i'm gonna stop the reading here and i will see you guys those who are subscribed on the other side bye bye